All right, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Here's a little deal. We got back from our long trip across the United States, and all I got was that one hunt from Kansas that y'all done seen. So, I swore my 2022 season was going to be over with, so I moped around the house and belly ached and all that good stuff and got to thinking, you know, somewhere season's still open. So I got on my phone, went to digging around, and seen that Michigan had a late season, June 1st through June 7th. So I picked up the phone, called the local DNR up there, and uh, they said they still had some tags left in two zones, in two zones only. So I got on the phone again, trying to find somewhere to go, and I did. So. Me and my boy, we got us two tags, so I grabbed the fan, and we head out. You know, I just couldn't handle it. Could not handle it knowing there was turkey season open, and I wouldn't turkey hunt. So, this is what happened. <clears throat> we get up there, first morning, have some luck. Bird spook as soon as he gets in. We load up that afternoon. Me and the boy did. We go to another cornfield. And I ain't got the camera up. We ain't got her mask on. I ain't got no gloves. Calls not even in my mouth. And nothing is ready. I just get the little blind set up. Decoys out on the field. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't like the decoys. So I come out around the blind, I ease up and I turn and look down the field and I went, uh-oh. I go to back in it. I run back in the blind and I said, get your gun up, get your gun up. Sure enough, here two come. Come straight down there to the decoys. I end up, my son, Thomas, he blasts one of them. It's a super jake, beard about that long, almost a full fan. So I'm like, crap. No footage. No roosters were. Huh, dead gummy. Well, oh well. Well, the next morning, me and another man goes out. We set the blind up, we get out there and we get ready. And, uh, well, let me back up a little bit. We get up, I get all my stuff, throw it in his truck. Set my camera down on the carport, or up under the porch. And uh, I go to my truck, get all my stuff, put it in his truck, and we strike out down the road. We get about halfway there, and I went, you've got to be kidding me. He said, what? I just left my camera. He said, well, I got mine. Do I need the video? I said, yeah, please. So... I rely on him 100% to get the video for that morning. Well, and it was a daggum barn burner. Four Jake, I mean, seven Jakes come out, two hens and two long beard strutters. They all out here doing all this crazy mess, and we finally get um, two Jakes to break off because we had a, a breeding Jake and a hen out there and another hen. Well... And two Jakes seen it, and well, they here they come. And well, them long beards couldn't have it. So here they come wide open too, and they come in there and get about 35 yards, and I blast one of them. Well, that's it. That's all the footage. So, I'm going to try to throw something up together, just to, for y'all to have something to look at. But once the trigger's pulled, that's all. I'll throw up some pictures of the bird and this and that and other. I'm sorry. I'm just being a dunce, I guess, but at least we've got something for y'all to see. So y'all check out this Michigan hunt, and it's going to be the last of 2022. And counting down the days to 2023. So y'all watch this. I hope y'all enjoy